We charge you with genocide. Hi everyone, my name is Rhonda. I'm an organizer for Palestinian Christians for Justice. I've been mobilizing with the Palestinian Youth Movement, uh, the LAOCIE chapter, along with Orange County uh, Justice for Palestine, OCJP. And we mobilized today with Code Pink, who's in Washington, D.C., for the collaborative events in two different states. So we're here today, we're relaying a message actually not just on behalf of us in D.C. We are here on behalf of Lou Crea's constituents in Santa Ana. They actually reached out to us because they have been ignored for many months. They are urging Congressman Correa, who still in mid-April has not called for a ceasefire. Mm -hmm. He has yeah, called for yeah. just a humanitarian pause. A humanitarian pause in the midst of genocide is unconscionable, and I don't even really know what that means, the word humanitarian not attached to a pause in the midst of a genocide. Yeah. Um, they have been showing up to his offices. They've been doing prayers outside of his offices. They've been even showing up to his home. They have been trying every single means to express their concern and still they have not been able to get a meeting with him. We've been mobilizing a big crowd of people in front of Luke Rea's office here in Santa Ana because he will not meet with us, he will not hear our demands and he refuses to hear his constituents. Um, it's really important for us that he demands a call for ceasefire and that he stops signing off on the funding to Israel because that is contributing to this genocide. He wants to be a genocide denier well, there's no denying it at this point after almost 40,000 people have been murdered. Right now it's betrayal. It's not even just a dodge. It's a betrayal of their right to come in and to sit with him and to talk to him. You know, we're not gonna go into someone's office and be this vulnerable and like tell you my story about my own family members who died in Gaza or honestly every, any Palestinian you ask knows someone who's, who's died. That's how crazy this whole genocide has been. And we're here because we have at least even a, a sliver of hope that the congressman will listen to us and listen to his actual constituents, but he's been dodging them. And it is a betrayal. It's a betrayal, not only of them, it's a betrayal of what this country supposedly mm -hmm. stands for, mm -hmm. which is we elect representatives. They're called representatives to represent us and then you're gonna pretend they don't exist. Just came back from uh, rallying in front of his house and people in our community did their Jum'ah prayer here. Beautiful event, they come and they do their prayers in front of his office. We are making the point here that we do not stand on the side of genocide. We stand on the side of justice and he needs to get on that side too because as his constituents, we are not okay with his silence. So it's time that he calls for a ceasefire and we're demanding it and we won't stop until he does.